The concern for the health of Kate Middleton has captured the attention of the Western world since January, with few details on her state. Recently, Kate decided to discuss her situation in a video. She said that it was to protect her children. Kate was waiting until they were in that period of classes to publicize her disease. And in this situation, the royal family wanted to join more and enjoy at the moment together without the corona. Taking advantage of the Easter holidays, Kate Middleton and Prince William, along with their three children, enjoyed a few days of rest outside their house at Adelaide Cottage. This is being reported in some media outlets and in the last hours, as I'm mentioning, it's being said in some media that there has been a trip of Kate Middleton and Prince William with their three children outside their royal residence in Adelaide Cottage. It seems that in the last days, there were various Portuguese sources talking about it in what would be their media, mentioning that there were some photographs of Kate Middleton and Prince William on the beach. This has been discussed a lot in the YouTube chats, especially in Portugal, the neighboring country of Spain, where some photos of the Princess of Wales and the Prince of Wales on a beach were being published. This was because it was said that they were on vacation or traveling during Easter, not attending what would be the Easter Sunday or the Sunday of Saint, the events of the British royal family, where Camilla appeared, and then Prince Charles also appeared alongside her on that Easter Sunday, but this time there are no new official photographs or any pictures taken of the Prince of Wales in the last few days. Therefore, I imagine it might be some kind of hoax or something similar, with old photos starting to appear in some Portuguese media. From what I've gathered from some tweets, it seems these news have been deleted, and I imagine they must have eventually replaced them with some previous photographs of Kate Middleton taken by paparazzi when she was on the beach a few years ago. But as for current photos of Kate Middleton on the beach, as far as I know, there are none, or that's what we have investigated, and in the media of the United States, there have been no photos of this kind. Speaking of Kate Middleton's children, aged from 10 to 5 years, George, Louis, and Charlotte, who is 8, well, People magazine confirmed that Kate and William's children were a fundamental support during their mother's recovery process, as a source close to Kensington Palace mentioned. They displayed extraordinary resilience regarding the great shock to their family being a great stimulus for their mother. It was emphasized that joy and shared family fun were vital for Kate and William to be truly well. Then, in an Argentine program, they discussed a trip they had made just a few days ago. But what they are doing under this diagnosis is coming together more as a family and enjoying the moments they can share together without so much protocol, without all the obligations of the crown. And that's what they did this Easter when they actually have vacations in England, unlike what happens in our country. More or less. Yeah, well, almost. We almost had vacations. We lacked a couple of days to complete the week. But well, they have something already established by the calendar, and that's why they were traveling. They went to one of the residences owned by the couple, let's say, which leads to something. Royal? Yes, to reach the throne. And in this case, the whole family participated in this getaway and took the opportunity to rest. And she too, what was known later, seeing her very hard to process because one of the first things the kids must be wondering is, can my mom die? Piers Morgan is being talked about again. Last time we went through some of the words of this presenter and journalist around royalty, and it seems Morgan has been everywhere lately. He's often seen in terms of black and white, mainly because of his supposed hatred for everything related to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, as well as his disdain for anything related to the Sussexes. Many people thought he should be on the opposite side, praising Prince William instead, but we were wrong. In the end, Piers Morgan here has nuances. Regarding some comments, this man writes absolutely everything about Kate and William, even though in the last few days... He was only saying good things after that announcement. This man wrote an article about William's alcohol consumption when he was a child. He was involved in the whole topic of Lady Di, 
There are some pretty strange threads, the truth with the theme of Lady Di, some journalists, etc. And he's meddling in all that too. And he also was the one who discovered that King Charles and Kate Middleton, supposedly, were the real racists. And now, Piers Morgan was also suggesting some really fascinating things, especially about Kate's health and the secret surrounding Kensington Palace. Piers Morgan was discussing that recent failure with the Photoshop of Princess Kate Middleton. And he said, Kate needs a rest. I agree. But her decision to publish this photo led to even more conspiracy theories. The edited photo might be trivial. She might be fine, but she tried to do something to correct the conspiracies, and there she got it wrong. Or maybe it's because they could be hiding something. Here we see that Piers Morgan was saying that he thought they were hiding something. That is, from the palaces of Kensington or themselves, the Prince of Wales, they were hiding something stronger. And the most curious thing is what he said next because he said, they have told me some things that if even half of what they say is true, it's quite alarming what is happening. I don't know what to believe, nor do any of us, because we are not there. This is quite astonishing that they were hiding something, and then arguing that there are many things they are telling him. He has many sources in the palace, and what they were telling him, if even a bit of it is true, this man, from these sources close to the palace, was holding his head a little, turning the alarms on. And later on in his program, Morgan also said that he heard from Harry and Meghan's team sources that he thought they were not, if the Sussexes had made that photographic error. And even Morgan said he agreed with this. Although Piers Morgan detests the Sussexes in reality, it doesn't seem that he's lost any love for William and Kate, that is, from Kensington Palace or themselves, the Prince of Wales, they were hiding something stronger. And the most curious thing is what comes next right. Because he says, I've been told some usual things, and that is, I've expressed his jokes, dirty with the usual things. And then he continues suggesting that something really sinister was happening in the palace. He still thinks that William also closed himself in that ridiculous position, and it turns out that if Kate's medical situation wasn't a big deal, he seemed like an idiot for all the secrecy and lies. Truly, I wish we could find a good way to encourage Piers to spill the tea because he knows what he says, and we don't doubt that Piers really does have knowledge, especially in palaces. So what would be the correct way to incite him? He was talking about how Harry and Meghan had told their friends that Piers Morgan did not know what was happening. Their sources had told them that Meghan had written a letter to Charles suggesting that he only needed a free time. Harry told some of his friends in England that Harry and Meghan had told friends that these are many things, many data around here, in different articles on the subject of Piers Morgan, and it was coming out in the media just now. Obviously, right now, everything, 